Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, today I've got a little bullet swaging experiment that I want to do, and I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Uh, now, this is pretty simple in concept. Uh, here I have just a cast lead powder coated uh, 44 caliber bullet. Uh, and here I have a piece of 7 8 14 all thread that I bored out to 45 caliber. And that bore goes not quite all the way through. It tapers down to a smaller hole at one end uh, to retain this uh, terminal bar with a, a conical point in there. So that gives me a swaging die uh, that I should be able to put that 44 caliber bullet in and then I turned this little ram that'll go in the shell holder of my uh, reloading press and I can just put some pressure on that and squish it down and that should allow me to swage a 45 caliber bullet out of this 44 caliber casting. Uh, or at least I'm curious to see if this is possible. So let's give it a try. So you can see the difference in bullet shape uh, before and after swaging. And this is now definitely 45 caliber. And now I've loaded up some of these swaged bullets into 45 ACP shells. So let's head out to the range and see how they shoot. Okay, so these are shooting okay, but they're not feeding correctly. And I think the problem is that the slope of the bullet point is just too abrupt. So I'm going to have to make a new uh, fitting for my swaging die uh, to give us a little bit more of a gentle bevel on the front of the bullet. I made a new piece for the die here, so let's see if that solves our problem. Well, that definitely looks like something that ought to feed more smoothly. Let's head back out to the range and see if it actually does.
Well, that was definitely better. Uh, I did have the one failure to feed, and then the slide failed to lock open on an empty magazine uh, at the end. But uh, those, to me, seem like symptoms not of any problem with the bullet, uh, but simply of too light of a powder charge. Uh, if I increase the powder charge a little bit, that will increase the recoil impulse that's imparted to the slide, uh, and cause it to cycle a little more forcefully, get it all the way back so that it will lock open on an empty magazine and give it a little bit more uh, inertia to feed cartridges all the way into the chamber. So, it uh, seems like our uh, experimental swaged bullets are working. Let's go take a look at the target and see how the accuracy is. Well, if we throw out that one outlier down on the bottom left, that's about a four inch group. Uh, shooting a pistol offhand at 25 yards, I'd say that's perfectly respectable accuracy. Well, I may need to fine tune my hand loads a little bit in order to get them to cycle reliably in this gun. But uh, based on what we've seen here today, I would say that these uh, cast, powder coated, and then swaged lead bullets do seem to be a perfectly viable option for bullet choice. Now, do they offer any real advantage over a straight up cast lead powder coated bullet? That's probably debatable. Uh, it's certainly possible that the swaging process would ensure uh, a little bit better concentricity and uh, greater uniformity of the diameter and you know, things like that that would contribute to greater accuracy. Uh, but that would take a lot more shooting data than what we've gathered here today to conclusively prove any kind of accuracy advantage. Uh, you could also argue perhaps that if you're shooting a couple of different but similar calibers, like say 44 and 45, that you can streamline your bullet uh, production process by casting everything in 44 caliber and then swaging some of them up to 45. Uh, that would allow you to have one less bullet mold and do all your casting with the same setup, but then you also need a 45 caliber swaging die and you add an extra step when you're uh, swaging 45 or when you're making 45 caliber bullets. So again, whether or not that's beneficial is probably debatable. What we've proven here today though is that it is possible and that was really all I was exploring in this initial experiment. So until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.